Today's video is an overview of DeFi and airdrop crypto news for the week ending April 1st, 2024. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. Before I get started, a couple quick caveats. First, although I'm recording and publishing this video on April Fool's Day, nothing in this video is an April Fool's joke. As far as I know, all of the news is true. Second, nothing in this video is financial advice. I'm going to talk about a lot of different crypto applications and tokens. Be sure to do your own research before buying or using any of them. Now let's get into the video. I'm trying out a new format in today's video, so if you like it or if you think it could be improved, be sure to drop a comment down below so that I know. I'm going to start off with the DeFi updates and news in this video, and then I'm going to go into airdrop news, updates, and announcements. So you can kind of divide it into those separate sections. Again, let me know what you think about that, please, down in the comments. All right, so let's get into the DeFi news to start. If we hop over to DeFi Llama, which has stats on DeFi, then we can see that the total value locked in all of DeFi rebounded a bit this week from its dip in the prior week and is currently sitting at around $154 billion in all of DeFi. And to zoom out on a longer scale, we can see that that's up from around $56 billion in October, uh, still down from its peak in 2021 and 2022, but it's come up a lot and is actually fast approaching its top peak from 2021. And the thing I want to note here is that, you know, we love to look at these short time horizons on crypto, but if you zoom out a little bit more and say you go back to four years ago in March, or I guess now April of 2020, then the total value locked in all of DeFi was well under $1 billion then. Now it fluctuates by sometimes tens of billions of dollars in a single day. And so this is the main reason why I'm focused so much on DeFi is, is that the growth on a four-year time span is, is something like two to 300x. And so few things grow that fast. And I think ultimately this is going to hit $1 trillion. And uh, so it's an exciting industry to be in. But as far as specific chains and ecosystems that are currently outperforming, if we go over to the chains tab, in DeFi Llama, then we can see that out of majors, so say the top five, which really stand apart in their own category, Ethereum, Tron, Solana, Binance Smart Chain, and Arbitrum, then Solana grew the most this week with about 6% TVL growth. And the reason I put these in their own category is just that their TVL is in general quite a bit larger than other ecosystems that you could argue that Ar Avalanche belongs in there too. And outside of the majors, several other ecosystems outperformed. Blast and Base both stand out, up 29% and 27% respectively. Those are both Ethereum layer two rollups. And they are, they've quickly come from being relatively small to being some of the largest DeFi ecosystems. And actually the second and third largest Ethereum rollups in terms of DeFi deposits. Another chain that I want to highlight that's grown a lot is Mode. So Mode is a little smaller, but it's it's uh, another Ethereum layer two rollup, and it's come up from basically nothing in January to 168 million dollars now, really accelerated over the past week. And Mode, similar to Blast, has an ongoing points program, and they've announced they're going to be doing an airdrop. So definitely, you can check this out and and use this DeFi if you want to qualify for for a future mode airdrop. I'll probably have a dedicated video on mode coming soon as well. Another DeFi ecosystem that's jumped out to me is Tone. So stands for the Open Network. Originally, this was a project by Telegram, the messaging app. It's since become independent because of legal issues. However, they still have kind of an affiliation with Telegram where Telegram is launching some applications that incorporate Tone. They're going to use their their uh, ad platform on Telegram is going to distribute revenue to channel owners using this blockchain. And the DeFi has just been going crazy, right? So if we look at it in USD terms, the deposits in DeFi on the open network are up from less than $100 million at the end, at near the end of February to over $300 million now. And some of that is because the price of Tone has gone up. But if you look at TVL in terms of ton as well, then you can see that it's, that's also going up as well. And even in the past week, it's continued to climb. And so there's now over 63 million ton locked in DeFi. And one thing about this is the market cap is already huge. This is a top 15 coin. 
That being said, just like market cap flows from TVL, I always say that TVL also comes from market cap. So the market cap is $18 billion. You only need a relatively small amount of that to actually enter DeFi for, for this TVL to become huge, to become $1 billion, $2 billion, etc. And so I think there's some opportunity in terms of looking at smaller DeFi projects here. As far as DeFi news from this week, there's a few interesting things that happened. Prisma Finance unfortunately suffered an exploit, and this is their postmortem announcement. Great to see, see teams doing a postmortem, and fortunately they were able to retrieve much of the user funds. However, there are still some addresses affected. Another announcement is that Velodrome, the leading decentralized exchange on Optimism, is now expanding to Mode. It's their first expansion outside of Optimism. And so I think that's pretty good for Velodrome, pretty good for Mode. Velodrome's entering a growing ecosystem. Mode is getting a battle-tested DeFi project to deploy on their chain. Another interesting piece of news is that Syndicate, this uh, Syndicate IO, they announced the launch of DGen chain in L3. So DGen was this token on base that was affiliated with the Farcaster community. They now have their own chain, DGen chain, and there was actually some activity going on in DeFi and meme coins on this chain over the past week. Another piece of news, Zerkit. Zerkit is this L2, and they announced a build to earn program for developers, builders, artists, and community founders. So if you're any of those, you can contribute to their ecosystem and earn points. Could be a good opportunity. Another news, and this is part of the reason why the open network has been growing so much. They announced a 1 million airdrop a few days ago for some of their top DEX traders. So of course that's going to be split out across a number of people, but but kind of exciting to see that they're starting to do some incentives in the ecosystem. Those, those kinds of programs have in the past been successful, although I've never heard of one before that actually did it quite like this, where they straight up just sent money to their most active traders. Final piece of DeFi news, lending platform TrueFi announced a plan to offer loans on tokenized RWAs. Awesome. We've seen real world assets are one of the breakout fastest growing categories of DeFi. This creates more infrastructure that will make it appealing for people to tokenize real world assets because they'll be able to quickly take out a loan using it as collateral and also to potentially earn some extra yield on it. One of the things that's cool about RWAs is that it can turn assets that are not currently yield bearing into yield bearing assets. All right, now let's get into some airdrop news and opportunities. First up, we have Rivals Network, the first AI D-PIN rollup on Dimension, announced that they are giving an airdrop to DIM stakers. They're launching their token Riz in the near future. And I think that this shows that Dimension is going to be one of the top coins to stake for airdrops this year. There's dozens, if not hundreds, of these rollups they're going to launch on Dimension. And I think a lot of them are probably going to follow the Rivals Network playbook and they're going to airdrop. And don't know how much these will be worth, but if there's a lot of them, chances are some will actually be somewhat valuable. So check that out if you've been staking Dimension. Next up, we have Warden Protocol. Warden Protocol is an intent based, secure, cross chain interaction protocol and they announced an airdrop first to QRDO stakers and then also to stakers of Tia, Dim, and Adam in the future. And then on top of that, they also have a Guild XYZ campaign where you can start earning points for a few more days. And through that, you will also be eligible for some sort of airdrop as well. Next up, Athena Labs. Athena Labs popular new stablecoin project. They announced a few days ago that their ENA token is coming. Shard campaign concludes today, April 1st, and then starting tomorrow, April 2nd, you will be able to claim your ENA token. So by the time you see this video, good chance that, that you will be able to claim these tokens if you've been collecting Athena shards. Next up, we have Prism. Prism has has an airdrop for a number of stakers. And although you can't claim it yet, you can register your wallet now and 
check your eligibility. Next piece of news for airdrops. Recently, Zeus Network, a cross-chain permissionless communication protocol on Solana and Bitcoin, announced an airdrop to Jupiter stakers. But the new update on this is that they're doing a launch on the Jupiter LFG launchpad, and there will actually be exclusive access for Jupiter voters to access the Apollo testnet and get bonus airdrops related to Zeus Network. So what this underscores is that if you're holding Jupe tokens, if you're staking and voting with Jupe tokens, then you may be eligible for more airdrops in the future, and perhaps Jupiter is, is another good play to qualify for airdrops. Next update, Drift Protocol. They've already announced they're doing an airdrop soon. They have an ongoing points program. They hinted a couple days ago, April will be a big month, so I think there's a good chance that Drift does an airdrop this month. Next up, we have Camino. Camino is the largest lending platform on Solana. They've already announced they're doing an airdrop. Season one of points just concluded. Season two, they made a post about a few days ago, although we already knew it was coming. Season two has now started. And so Camino, if you want to qualify for a future airdrop in the largest lending platform on Solana, you can provide liquidity, you can do leveraged looping strategies, you can lend out funds. There's a lot you can do on Camino. Next up, we have something called Gold Network. Now, this is interesting. It's a DeFi project on Manta. They advertise it as codeless DeFi integration and trading experience, but it's also kind of a picks and shovels play for memes where they advertise codeless token creation and low fees, basically making it easy to create meme coins. Uh, and so I think that that is kind of unique, at least. They also have a game and they just made this announcement a couple days ago that season two is now live. You can collect escrowed gold tokens as well as gold points that will be eventually convertible to gold. And so check that out. Maybe if the protocol sounds interesting, that's something that you want to start accumulating. Next up, we have layer three. Layer three is one of the premier quest boards for, for many of these protocols that are running quest programs right now. They are, also have some of their own quests here. And one of the things that I think is interesting about this is that Layer 3 has actually implied recently that they may have their own token coming. So I don't think it would hurt to use some of these quests that they have. You can collect cubes on all these different chains. Benefit is that a lot of these chains that you can collect cubes on, like Mode, for example, or Scroll, don't have tokens yet. So you might be qualifying for multiple airdrops at once. Next up, we have our old friend Linea announcing a new program. Linea is a ZK EVM rollup for scaling Ethereum, and it's built by Consensus, the same company that makes MetaMask. Linea has been running quests for a while now where you can complete various tasks to, to earn XP and hopefully qualify for a future airdrop. Well, they're moving into the next phase now with something called the Linea Voyage Surge, which they're saying is intended to bring in TVL, bring in liquidity, to the ecosystem and you'll be able to collect something known as LXPL. That's a non-transferable soul bound token that's designed to track liquidity. And so TBD, all the details on it, I'll link this thread, which has more that I'm sharing just in this video. I would say one thing to consider with this is that I wonder if it's going to be very tied to the amount you deposit, which if you have a lot of money could be great for you. If you don't, it might make this a less appealing airdrop. Uh, also note that a lot of people have already participated in the various Linea Voyage campaigns. And so, so it's possible this airdrop is going to end up somewhat diluted. That being said, given the fact that this chain is built by consensus, I still think that the chain has a good chance of, of succeeding in some form. So it's one that I'll, I'll be paying attention to. Next piece of news, this orderly network protocol announced their road to the order campaign and Basically, this is a gamified campaign where traders can earn something called merits. They're basically the points that many other protocols are doing. They'll have a leaderboard and they're saying that a significant portion of the token airdrop will be distributed to participants. So it may be worth checking this out, especially if you're a trader. Next up, we have Param Labs, a gaming ecosystem coming straight out and saying that they are launching points and that those points will unlock a future Param airdrop. You can go to their website and start completing tasks, or you can also tweet using the cash tag and earn points in that way. But they're saying it's going to be an airdrop, so probably a lot of people are going to be doing the tasks. That being said, that being said, 
it's also confirmed, so it's lower risk. You, you know you're probably going to get something if you're earning points. Backpack. Backpack is an exchange and wallet on Solana. Their preseason phase two snapshot closes on April 6th at 8 a.m. UTC. So if you want to try to qualify for a future airdrop from them, may want to get some activities in before the next snapshot. Next up, Plena. Plena is a, they call themselves a crypto super app and they have said that the road to token generation event TGE is going on. They have now week three of their quest campaign running until April 7th. You can complete these various quests. And again, the campaign is advertising its road to TGE. So probably this is going to involve some sort of airdrop. Finally, we have a T protocol. This is a protocol built on base. It's sort of a developer developer uh, oriented protocol, but they have various quests right now as well. And as we've seen with many other protocols, quests are often a good way to qualify for some sort of reward or airdrop in the future. For more updates on DeFi trends, yield farming, airdrop strategies, and more, be sure to check out my newsletter at dynamodefi.substack.com. And for more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.